Hi there people, I've decided I want to learn a lot more about the way that BLDC motors are driven and controlled. Um, so what I've done is taken the mechanism out of a CD-ROM drive and I've built this circuit um, here um, on this breadboard and that circuit basically amplifies the signals from the Hall effect sensors on the motor and that gives its position and just for a laugh I've directly connected the outputs of the Hall sensors directly to the inputs of this L298 um, bridge driver IC and that's obviously connected to the motor. Um, one thing you'll notice is as I turn the motor you can see the outputs of the hall sensors change. Um, okay. And my, my final intention is um, I've got to learn pick C and um, it writes some code which will generate three phase PWM to control the motor smoothly hopefully. But anyway, um, let's just turn the um, power supply up and show you what happens. So that's at 4 volts, 6 volts, 8 volts, 10 volts, and that's 12 volts. Now the current is um, 2 amps, which is very high for what it's actually doing. You can see the output of two of the Hall effect sensors on this oscilloscope there. Right, um, what I'm going to do now is take the load off the motor. And just turn the power supply up again. So that's 4 volts. 6 volts, 8 volts, again 12 volts and it's drawing 2 amps which is way too high. Um, if you're going to drive um, the motor digitally like this um, for part of the cycle you'd actually need to leave um, one of the um, phases undriven um, because at, at the moment it's sort of fighting itself. Um, so, but anyway, they, it worked better than I thought it would. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching.